exercise. So we're thinking about strengthening. We're thinking back muscles, strengthening. So that will make you stand up nice and tall and uh, really recruiting your back muscles. Um, this is good for posture and back conditions and shoulders. So in hands and knees, hands are directly underneath your shoulders, knees are directly underneath your hips. Back is nice and flat, so we don't want an extra curve or an arch up, we want it nice and level. We're really focusing on this area being level. Then when we can, so we're gonna squeeze your right leg, squeeze the buttocks, slide it away and hover it up. Keeping that level, we're gonna reach the opposite arm away and you're gonna hold there for the breath in. Then you're gonna place the hand, knee back position before. Sliding the other leg away, squeezing the buttocks, keeping it level, reaching the opposite arm away, holding for the breath in. Hand and knee back position before. So you will find that one side is easier to do than the other, which is all perfectly normal. We're gonna do each side holding for the breath in. Hand and knee back position before. And again. So as you feel you're getting it and you're getting that nice level pelvis, you're gonna to try to hold it, hold it. I always aim to hold for 10 seconds, six blocks of 10 seconds, so then that'd be like a minute holding on each side. You can, as you get stronger, try hold for a minute. So let's try hold for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can feel things getting shaky. And let's do the other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And back. So I will try to do that six times on each side holding for 10 seconds at a time. You will find one side is easier to do than the other. Remember to squeeze the buttocks. That is the tip to prevent that hip dropping down and you're getting that nice level. So that's good exercise for back pain and posture and keeping up right.